G'day, we've got a new forklift, a walk behind forklift. I'm just gonna run you through some safety features and basic things I need you to do if you're using this. Uh, first thing, safety is the isolation uh, connection to the battery. That just needs to get pushed down on there and that reconnects the battery. And then we have the normal on and off switch. So just for general use throughout the day, but at the end of the day, pull that one out. So in case anyone, you know, kids will also come up here, we know it's completely isolated and hopefully they won't work out how to push it in. Uh, okay, so then down in, that switch on. We have the forward and reverse controls. So going forward, going reverse. Can you do that again, please? Okay, the top, okay. Yep, so going forward. Uh, I think it is a speed control, so the more you push it, uh, the faster it will go. So just tap it lightly until you need to actually push it harder. Um, you know, light is better than pushing hard for the first go until you get used to it. And then we do have the lever for making the forks go up and the forks go down. But okay. bear in mind, we are only a short amount of space from the ceiling. So we shouldn't even need to lift it up very high, but don't lift it up any higher than what the ceiling is. Keep an eye open for that. It should be fine for all our use, but it does go very, very high if we need it to. Hence, it'll break the ceiling. Okay. So if you're, when you're going forward, it's all good just to hold on to the steering wheel, which we can turn to rotate. And then straight. But for reversing, please use the foot stand. So if you are reversing, stand on the foot stand and then use the turn thing and here. If you need to stop it quickly, just go forward a little bit just to, to break it. So if we're going that and we need to quickly stop it, just change direction briefly to, to stop. Um, okay, so the main thing again is really just the foot stand for any kind of reversing, must use the foot stand. Um, if it takes off on you or you're not expecting it and you're standing here or it goes quicker than you expected, then obviously you're going to get your feet stuck under the machine or you're going to have to quickly jump out of the way. We don't want any accidents. It also gives you that buffer, but if it's going to hit something behind you, if you're not paying attention, you're tired, uh, there's some crates or something behind you, at least the foot stand's going to hit the crates rather than your legs and you're not going to get crunched up between the, the unit and the crates and things behind you. So that's the only thing I'm very much going to enforce. If you're going to do reverse, please use the foot stand. No, you must use the foot stand uh, from that. So uh, the only thing we're going to do is we'll have pallets or crates up the front. And the idea will be that we'll try and make sure the pallets or crates are all at the front. We drive up, we pick up the pallet or crates, uh, we lift it up to the height of the gas stunner, and then we just need to push basically the crates uh, from the pallet onto that. Uh, the pallet, the crates will be three high, so we'll be moving using the uh, scissor lift. Sorry, the pallet lift um, to lift the pallet up and down as we move through each layer of crates. Um, that way, there should be no lifting involved. This is the aim of installing and getting all this and, and paying a lot of money for it. Is that no more lifting, so no more risks of anyone hurting their back or lifting things they really shouldn't be. Um, that's the end goal, obviously, for this project. Cool. Um, so please have a play, have, be very very careful until you get used to the whole system. It just runs on batteries, it's nice and quiet, but we, do re we must remember to recharge the batteries probably every fortnight. Cool, thank you.